1051. Boy, I was nervous as a in church. I really like this song. Yeah, this is a beautiful song. You want to dance? Yeah, sure. beating a hundred times a minute. She was so soft, she smelled so good. All I could think was, don't get hard. Hey, yo, look at that, man, look. You know I need you, honey. You know I need you, baby. I love this part. Why don't you go dance with her then? You too. Hey, that mean I can't call y'all? Oh, shit, that's it. I can't hold it any longer. Captain, she's gonna blow. I was in full salute at this point. You okay, Mike? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is how we do it in North Carolina. Well, um, this is how we do it in L.A. All right, it's over, y'all. Back it up, take it in. It's time to go on. Y'all be safe, man. Uh, walk me outside? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's Power 1051, home of the Breakfast Club, Angie Martinez. And that hip hop movie will be at your main man, M. Easy. It's the Sunday sit down. And with me this afternoon or evening or whenever you decide to watch it, it's Mr. Sean Nelson, actor extraordinaire. You out here getting some checks, fam. Ah, yeah, yeah. Trying, <laughs> trying. You know, gotta eat, bro. How you been? I'm good, good. You know, just been doing this for a long time and I love it, man. You know, just can't really see myself doing anything else. So trying to get behind the scenes, get my. Hands dirty in that, you know, produce some things. Got a couple things bubbling in that. You you uh, producer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working okay. with a team. Uh, uh, the rest of my team is really out in Florida, okay. but uh, we have a feature film that's gonna be released on Amazon. It's called The Breaking Point. It's coming out uh, October 27th, okay. and uh, you know that's we got that coming, and we're working on our second effort now. Mm. <laughs> so okay. You've been at it for a while, yeah. young actor. Yeah, man. When did I you get started? In it. Uh, professionally, when I was 10. I did a, a play on 42nd Street, uh, Playwrights Horizon. It was called Hey Little Walter. Did that mm. with uh, uh, Merlin, Merlin Santana. We had did that together. Now, since you started young, was yeah. was this something your parents pushed you to? Or was this like you knew at four or five, like, Mom, listen, I'm going to be an actor? Well, see, the thing is, I didn't start out acting. I was singing. In kindergarten. Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right, like all right. church. And we got layers you know, to the name. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. you know. So my mom was like, you know, you got to you gotta learn how to perform. So uh, she sent me uh, to Lola Louie's Performing Arts Studio in the Bronx. And uh, I took piano classes. I took dance classes. I took vocal classes. And I took acting classes. And, you know, um, I, I just started leaning towards the acting a little bit more. And then I did a lot of... A lot of these uh, musical theater plays, I, I, I did some plays with Tada, which is a young theater group here in the city, and uh, got my first break in a, a paying gig when I was 10, you know, and then uh, wanted to keep doing that, you mm -hmm. know, and I did this TV show called um, Here and Now, which was Malcolm Jamal Warner's spinoff. To, oh, you know what yes, I, mean? I, I do. I did one episode that. of that, you know I what I mean? Do that show. <laughs> yeah. You're right. And uh, my break, my big break was fresh. You know what I mean? That's what kind of put me in. I, I remember you from the wood, too. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, fresh was on. I was yeah, 13. Yeah, you know I what I mean? Back, <laughs> when I did that, that started it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I had the wood. And then I had the corner. Those three right there are, like, the things that I'm really known for. Yeah. So I'm grateful for those opportunities. So how did you land the wood? The wood? I was actually working on something in L.A. at the time. 
and uh, you know, my agent got me in on the audition, and it just time kind of came together. And I, when I read the script, I loved it because it was like this is how I was in high school, you know, mm -hmm. or even in junior high, you know, just running around grabbing booties and all that. So. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. So, yeah. so now, tell me a, a weird casting story. A weird because you had to have re read for roles and been on casts for stuff like that. Give me a weird story, like they had you re read. Well, with somebody um, or something. Uh, no, nah, I, I, I don't really know any weird casting stories, but uh, there was uh, one role that you know this guy he was trying. It wasn't even an audition. He was just trying to get his project going, and uh, he gave me the choice between two roles, and um, one guy was kind of like the, the the real thug dude that you know was like the wild guy in the crew. It was kind of like this crew that was robbing people or whatever, but then this other character that he 